Today marks one year since the deadly shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. The shooting claims 17 lives sparked a nationwide gun control debate and calls for school safety improvements. News 13's Kirsten Mitchell joins us live tonight from the Bay District School Board offices on new security efforts and how students honor the victims today. Kirsten. Amy, flags were at half staff today as schools across the county observed moments of silence, honoring those who lost their lives and the countless others who were forever changed by this event. It's good to a year ago today, our lives were changed forever when senseless violence occurred on the campus of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. It only takes a moment of silence. It just takes you back to that experience of feeling scared. For Arnold High School students to recall the moment they heard the news, a gunman killed 17 people inside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. I was at home when I read about it on Twitter. I was on my phone reading about it and everything just stopped around me. I was kind of shocked about what just happened. It was just chaos. It was scary to come to even school because you think, oh, we're next. In a place considered safe, students couldn't help but question their own well-being at school. It made me wonder what would happen here and like safety precautions and how we would react if it were to happen to us and I would just hope and pray it would never happen. The anniversary is also a day of reflection for school districts across the state. Our students should go home every night after they finish school safe and secure. Bay District Schools has dedicated millions of dollars in loans and state funding to complete school hardening projects, staff an armed officer at each school and invest in mental health services. The district is also one of the first to implement the Guardian program. More than a dozen school employees besides law enforcement are carrying firearms on local campuses. And on the eve of the anniversary, Governor Ron DeSantis asked the Florida Supreme Court to impanel a statewide grand jury to invest investigate whether school districts are complying with mandatory safety measures designed to protect students. I'm glad he's doing it. I want him to look and see what we've done. District officials say they are confident in the steps they've taken to improve school security since Parkland. This district is, we're trendsetters. That's what we like to call ourselves. We like to get things done way before they tell us to do them. And this board and this superintendent are doing that. It's just tough to see like so many families broken and down from their kids being killed by another student at the high school. It's just horrible to hear about it. Thank you for your participation in this. Thank you. Vigils took place across the state today to remember those 14 students and three staff members who lost their life one year ago. Reporting live in Panama City, Kirsten Mitchell, News 13, Panhandle Strong.